He allows the evil a lot of times as punishment on Christian people that do evil here. Absolutely does. So he allowed this old fellow to impose a tax, and that was going to make Murray and Joseph come up all that distance to Bethlehem. I don't know if they had a caravan or not, but I know this. God was intending for his son to be born in Bethlehem, and there ain't no bunch of robbers along that way going to stop it. So they had divine protection, my friend. All the way. Well, when they got up to Bethlehem, there was no room at the end. So they couldn't get a room for the baby to be born in. It was time for that baby to be born. That's the reason Joseph wouldn't leave her down there on her own and him take off. So he took her along. I can imagine how long it, I don't know how long it took them to get up there, but it must have took them a long time because she, they couldn't travel much in the shape she was in. But anyhow, when they got up there, wasn't no room at the end. I often say, they were, when Jesus came to this, into this world, he found out that there was no room for him in the end. And as soon as he started preaching, they wanted to throw him over a cliff out there. There was no room for him in the temple no more. And now there ain't no room for him in the hearts of the people he created. Amen. In their homes or in their hearts. And bless God, in a lot of instances in their churches, they ain't room for him no more. Sometimes a church ain't nothing, a local church ain't nothing but a drawn out program a socialized visiting place, a place to put on a program, that's all. Well, I'll tell you one thing, brother. A church that's turned the Lord Jesus Christ out ain't no church, it's a social club, and that's all it is. Yeah. Jesus is the head of the church. The church. Pastor ain't the head of this church. Jesus is the head of this church. And when it did come, if it ever came a time, it won't here, thank God. But if there ever came a time that he wasn't the head of this church, I'd be gone. He could be the head of the church at my house. <laughs> I'd sit down there and preach to Mabel. 